Hey, this is Dean here from Recommended.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to confirm your identity on Facebook, whether for ads or to protect your account. Welcome back. So as we all know, if you want to run ads or if you want to use your uh, Facebook account for business, surely you need to confirm your identity in order to avoid any action that could be carried against you from Facebook uh, disabling your account or deleting it uh, as a whole. First of all, after logging in into your uh, Facebook account, you head on to the top row and click on settings. Next, a general account settings page will appear and here we have different options of your account that you can change or check. We have dealt with most of them, so just check our previous tutorials or the coming ones. Good. So here, as you can see, we have the name, surname, contact, the ad account contact. This is the email to contact you for ads settings. Next, memorialization settings. Decide what happens to your account after you pass away. And at last, we have identity confirmation. This is to confirm your identity to do things like running ads about social issues, elections, politics, run ads in general. So let's click on view. Next, you will be asked to confirm your password. So just type it in. Well done. Next, we click on continue. Great, now we are in the portal of identity confirmation of Facebook. So as you can see, you might be asked to provide proof of your identity. If you want to do things like run ads about social issues, election or politics, is to help ensure Facebook is a safe place for the whole community. Good. We have the gear here at the top, you can change settings. Settings are about your identity so facebook can get an encrypted copy of your id to be used to help improve system and detecting fake ids and related abuses so you can opt in for yes or or no if you want your identity to be kept for more than 30 days otherwise if you select no so your identity will be deleted after 30 days well done just skip it as it is let's turn back to the identity next we hit the star identity confirmation running ads about social issues elections or politics the first step in identity confirmation is to select your country and none of the information provided in here will be shown on your profile or in ads. So just select the country. Just hit the list in here and select your country. Before activating this identity confirmation, you need to secure your account by turning on two-factor authentication which adds additional security to your account when you log in. Let's get started. The message will make sure that you uh, need to confirm your identity. You will use it for the ad library or, or you plan to have a business, Facebook business manager. So that's what you, we need. Just ignore it and click yes, continue. So as we said, first of all, we need to activate two-factor authentication in order to secure your account. Let's get started. Here you can select authentication app or a text message. The app like Google Authenticator or Duo Mobile to generate verification codes. 
otherwise you can just use your mobile phone and opt in to receive uh, text messages containing the code where you will receive the verification codes well done so just select text messages continue next you need to select your phone if you have already entered it otherwise you have the option to enter another phone number just keep the same mobile number continue good we have received the code just type it in now you have activated the two-factor authentication and your account has been secured well done good now we move on to the second step uh, which is the identity confirmation here you will need to upload your id or you can get a form notarized opt in for id click on next you can have a photo using mobile app take a photo using the facebook app on your phone or you can just browse photos and upload one from your computer so we'll opt in from here first option good and here is the list of documents which are accepted you need to choose a photo of your id as proof of your identity here you need to note that uh, the id must feature the country that you have selected before and it must be clearly visible on the photo the document can be a passport driver's license national id card marriage certificate official name change paper work paperwork Official name change paperwork, personal or vehicle insurance card, green card, tribal identification, tribal identification voter ID, family certificate, visa, national age card, immigration, registration card, or tax identification card. Also, you can opt for I don't have none of this, and this will give you other options to select from, especially if you are under 18 years old good so here we'll select visa well done next all we need to do is just to hit the plus button up here good and select the document that you will be using here we'll be using as we said a visa id select it and hit open the image must be 1500 by 1000 so we need to convert the image into that size so we have converted the image into the desired size we'll check or try now you can see it's 1500 per 1000 next hit open your ID will be featured so as it is indicated here your ID must be clearly visible in the photo otherwise you will be asked again to resubmit it after checking these requirements so all you need to do just to click on next there are certain requirements that you should not do like showing all the four corners keep the ID flat use a clear and focused image use a dark background and show all info on your ID I will submit this ID and check if there is any problems they will contact you and ask for resubmission so there is no reason to worry let's hit next as you can see it is submitting the ID so all you need to do is just wait until it finish well done so success message will ask you thanks for submitting your info and they usually review these IDs within 48 hours and they will let you know when they have any update whether you they want you to resubmit or not you can visit Facebook 
the ID URL to check your progress anytime. This URL, you will be asked to re-enter your password in order to, to access this page, right? And then, so as you can see in here, running ads about social issues, etc. So confirmation is in progress. Then view personal ID is being reviewed and it is in progress well done and this way you have confirmed your identity and your account is in total security and avoid any uh, policy or terms strikes which can lead to the termination of your account or uh, any violation of the Facebook terms concerning the ads keep tuned for our next tutorials in which we show you how to verify your account for a lifetime and claim the blue badge. The next tutorial the Surhos is the end. Peace. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do consider sharing it. Click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and the notifications to get the latest tutorials that will inspire, empower and connect you www.rackmedia.com